Yeah, I'm waiting for you. You've asked me if I'm ready 20 times. Did I? Am I jet lagged 20 times? I'm like, yeah, I'm jet lagged. Hi, I'm Sarn Benjamin with the Pulse Signal. We're here with the leads and you're a smash. Ball. That's right. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, honey. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. All right, so when did you guys meet? You? No. no. I just met you about five minutes ago. <laughs> no, the band. No, we've been, uh, I formed the band in 1994. Okay. So it's been a while. Do you think it was fate that brought you guys all together? Or was it? You know, I think it was. I mean, a lot has to do with just kind of, I kind of planned it out. The way I did it is, um, two of our original band members were in cover bands that play other people's music, you know, like like three times a week, four times a week, and I was fans of their bands, and I would go watch them play, and um, I kind of scouted them out, because I just kind of knew who, okay, this guy I know writes songs really good, and this guy's a great guitar player, singer, this guy's a great bass player, and I really like him, and, and, and he's my drinking buddy, and so, <laughs> you know, and my drummer was my childhood friend, who I had played in bands with since we were in junior high school. So I just kind of pieced it all together and, and I knew that if I got the right recipe together, that was gonna be my best shot. What advice would you give to people trying to get into the music industry? I think my advice for kids would be, you know, get an education. I didn't get a chance to. I, I couldn't stand school. I mean, it just wasn't my thing. I was, I was a really independent kid that wanted to do his own thing. And, you know, and I wish I would have, you know, done more, you know, but music was my calling. And it was just, you know, since I was a little kid, I always knew that I wanted to entertain. How did you guys get involved for touring for the military? It was something that I've always wanted to do and I brought it up and, you know, so I really try to, just you know, let everyone know that I see you know like every man, woman, like in the you know like in the military. I always go up and shake their hand and say thank you because you know they're protecting us. That's what you guys do. You guys, you guys put your butts on the line, and it allows us to do our thing. And in turn, hopefully, our music puts a smile on everyone. You know, faces that are maybe some days not having a good day out there. Well, thank you for spending time with thank me. Thank you. I want to thank Camp Zama, you know, the Army base for having us here and letting us play tonight for him. So thank you very much. Well, this is Simon Benjamin with Pulse Signal. So the next segment is a bunch of different games that we got to play while we were there, but we didn't actually, you know, focus on. So, you know, we can talk about those a little bit. Oh, this game is a nightmare. I, I didn't get this game at all. This game was a nightmare. What was this one called? The this Last Remnant. Last Remnant, yeah. <laughs> Great, amazing graphics. The, the but graphics. it's a turn-by-turn -turn game, and it just took forever, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, the graphics, the cutscenes, awesome. Oh. It was, like, the best that I've seen, uh, well, beside a uh, Final Fantasy. This is the motorcycle. Uh, that was actually the controller. Well, you know what, you guys were talking about like this, um, the motorcycle game right here. Mm -hmm. But you think about it, I mean, yeah, the prices, it's a little pricey. But people buy like rock band and stuff and you still have to buy all, the, like first it was Guitar Hero, then all of rock band came right, out. Right, right, that's well, I, true. I think, you know, with the big thing with that, the motorcycle piece was, they had it was a prototype. And they'd used an actual real mini bike as the prototype, oh. so it, you know that would take development. But the technology was wireless, and it was really quite amazing. So now this one here is Nin Ninja Blade. Ninja Blade. Yes. Ninja Blade. That was a pretty tough game to play as well. I didn't too much like some of the movements that you had to to make. It was a little stiff. Right. It uh -huh. wasn't intuitive. It forced you to make you know you know like a block that was. You know, horizontal block, you know, vertical block. You had to do this or you got killed. You don't look like yeah. you know what you're doing in this one, Danny. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was yeah. actually really pathetic. Yeah, like because it, you would, the, the thing about it is that you wouldn't use the sword like you would think you would. You, you played, played the new Naruto, Naruto game, game too, too, right? Yeah. And Cabral, you got to play that as well, right? And that was a that was probably the best fighting game out there during, yeah. during the show, I think. Wow. Better than Street Fighter 4? Better than Street Fighter 4. It was real good. And the graphics it were amazing. Fun. 
Didn't you say that Simon Griffin was leaving, so we're looking for a new DJ? Yes, we are. As a matter of fact, we need to plan for that. I believe what we're going to do in January is we're going to have a spinoff. Okay. We're going to invite, if you're a DJ out there, you need to send me an email at thepostsignal at gmail.com so that we can you know, invite you to come spin for us and see what kind of music you can throw down so that you can compete you know, and be on the show. So it's unpaid, it's volunteer, but it's a lot of fun. Yes, it is. It's always fun. I think that's uh, we've done a good job tonight. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. All right. So do you have a good time, Alex? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So, well, thanks a lot for watching The Post Signal. We hope to see you again soon. Take it easy. This has been a presentation of the 78th Signal Battalion in support of the U.S. Army Garrison Japan.